Hello, today we will import a meta human into the game animation sample and we open the Quixel bridge, select one of the meta humans that are there or one that I already created. Downloading will take a couple of minutes. I kind of speed it up here a bit. And then as soon as it's downloaded, you just put, press the blue add, importing it. It might ask if it should be again imported, just say yes and import again, it will grumble that there's no skeleton, that's fine. Just push it again if it comes. And then you see the new folder on the left side where you have hopefully your meta human there. In my case, that's Daniel. Kellen is the one that comes with the sample. So that's our example that we will use extensively and copying all the things from there. So let's filter on Kellen. And you see the CBP character blueprint here. That is something we need. So first thing, we copy it to our new MetaHuman folder, Daniel in my case, and we need it later. So let's open it because we will copy most of the settings from there. So going back to Daniel, we of course have here the new copy. First thing, we should rename it actually from Kellen to Daniel in my case. And yeah, we need actually both. We need this one here, the character blueprint, and we need the blueprint Daniel that comes with the import from MetaHuman. So opening both will us allow us to kind of mix and merge because we need settings from the Kellen character blueprint and we need settings from the BP Daniel that comes with the import and both will go into our new character blueprint Daniel that we just created. So opening all up, now we have D3 open and can start working. So first thing in our um, new copy of the character blueprint, we select everything around body and the LOD sync and delete it. These settings will come from the BP Daniel that was imported. So again, selecting everything, copying it and passing it back into the character blueprint. One thing, the body is not a child of the mesh character mesh. It needs to be, so we drag it in. So now it's a child of the character mesh that works. So that was kind of step one. If we, I now go to the Kellen character blueprint and look for tag, then you see that tag that needs to be set. So I copy it here, go back to my new character blueprint. Again, select body, select tag and add this tag here. This tag is needed, otherwise um, the engine does not know how to animate that thing. And all the meta humans have the same tag, so that's fine. Okay, body is there, that is there, looking good. Next thing that we have to do is thinking about a couple of variables that are void now in the two scripts, construction script and enable master post. They are just variables that are missing because we copy past some things. Let's go back to Kellen and look here what kind of variables are missing. You see here, for example, this body variable that we don't have here in our enable master pose. The variables here on the left side and the components, you have all these variables down here. For example, the body, if you press control and drag it in, you get automatically the get and you can connect it. Now moving back to the um, and uh, to, the, to the construction script, we need to, uh, three things, feet, legs, and torso. And again, we have here feet, we have legs, and we have torso. Same thing, control, dragging in, and connecting it with the import of these three nodes, or with the skeleton mesh component. One, two, and three. Okay, and that's it already for the missing variables. We compile, that looks good so far. And then we have to yeah, change position a bit. Um, yeah, maybe we do it here left, right. So that's a bit easier and you see it's too high. So going back to the components, we select body because that's the thing that we actually shift around here and push it down, 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 down. And it should exactly be on the bottom of this capsule. If you are um, here uh, in, in steps too far, you will see that it's jumping around. So just put us here to one for moving it and then you can move it more or less seamlessly. So from perspective, you see that the blue arrow is actually looking the wrong direction, or actually we are looking the wrong direction. So let's move the or rotate the whole thing min minus 90 degrees. 
and now that looks also quite good. Last thing, we are still on here on the body, but the anim class of the body needs to be animation blueprint generic retarget. That's the last settings, and we are done. Last thing for convenience, we register the whole thing again in this widget. So take the last button, right click copy, right click past in this um, component, and here we have a new button, and of course that should be our character blueprint for our Daniel. Going down, here it is. Okay, that's it already really. Low compile, save and start playing. And you, sh you should see as soon as you go here on this light blue box, you will see this widget. Last button was our new one. The other ones we had in the last video, like Jennifer. And yeah, start running. And already I'm still amazed after two days <laughs> playing around by these smooth animations. And I'm really, really looking forward to the community will do in terms of extending these animations that are reacting to the environment. And that might be actually quite a lot of fun for the next couple of weeks. So that's how you import the meta human. Should be really something in five, six minutes. I hope it helps as always and see you bye.